everyone, everyone is subject to this virus. It is the great equalizer. I don't care how smart, how rich, how powerful you think you are. Uh, I don't care how young, how old. This virus is the great equalizer. My brother Chris uh, is positive for coronavirus, found out this morning. The, uh, now, uh, he is going to be fine. He's uh, young, in good shape. Uh, strong, not as strong as he thinks, but uh, he will be fine. But there's a lesson in this. He's an essential worker, member of the press, so uh, he's been out there. If you go out there, the chance that you get infected is very high. Uh, I spoke to him this morning, and uh, he's going to be quarantined uh, in his basement at home. He's just worried about his daughter and his kids, that he hopes he didn't get them infected. Uh, you don't really know Chris. You know, you see Chris, uh, he has a show on night, uh, 9 o'clock on CNN. But you just see one dimension, right? You see a person in his job, and in his job he's combative and he's argumentative and he's pushing people. But that's his job. That's really not who he is. He's a really sweet, beautiful guy, uh, and uh, he's my best friend. My father was always working, so it was always just me and Chris, and uh, he's a lawyer also, Chris. He's a lawyer because growing up, uh, the decision point came to what do you want to do after college, and my father was a very strong personality, and uh, my father basically suggested forcefully to Chris that he should be a lawyer. Uh, it was a different time and a different place, you know. Uh, now, my daughters, Kara, who's here, you know, they all follow their individual stars. This is their destiny, which is right. If you had said to my father, I want to follow my individual star, he would say, yeah, you, you can follow your individual star right out that door. You know, that's what he would have said. So Chris went to law school. Uh, but he never really had a desire to practice law. He calls me when he's about 26. He's at a law firm. And he said, you know, I don't want to be a lawyer. I said, yeah, I know, but you are now a lawyer. You are. He said, yeah, but I don't want to be a lawyer. I said, what do you want to be? He said, I want to be a journalist. I said, you want to be a journalist? I said, it's too late. You're a lawyer. You have to pay law school bills. You didn't go to journalism school. It's too late. No, no, I think I can do it. And God bless him. He quit the law firm, uh, went to work for Fox TV, which is a whole separate conversation in the House, uh, and then worked his way up. He's at CNN. He does a beautiful job. But a sweet guy. And now he's quarantined in the basement. But he's funny as heck. He says to me, uh, even the dogs won't come downstairs, he says. <laughs> so... Uh, but he is concerned about his wife and his kids. But the reason I raise it is he's smart. He social distancing, yes. But you wind up exposing yourself. People wind up exposing you, and then they find out they're positive a couple of days later. And I had a situation with Christopher two weeks ago that I even mentioned my mother was at his house. And I said, that is a mistake. Now, my mother is in a different situation. She's, uh, she's older, uh, and she's healthy, but I said, you can't have mom at the house. And he said, no, 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 mom is lonely. She wants to be at the house. I feel bad she's cooped up in the apartment. I said, yeah, I feel bad she's cooped up in the apartment too. But you bring her to your house, you expose her to a lot of things. You have the kids there, you have your wife there, you're coming and going, your wife is coming and going. And uh, you could expose mom to the virus. And love is uh, sometimes uh, a, a little, uh, needs to be a little smarter than uh, just reactive. And we had a whole discussion. And truth, now he's informed, I'm informed, uh, 